I'm Thomas Viola. I'm a, a clinical consultant pharmacist in private practice in the state of New Jersey. Uh, I've had the unique uh, perspective uh, of being a pharmacist registered in five states and having worked with uh, dental hygienists and dentists uh, over the last 20 years. So I can say that dental pharmacology runs deep for me. Uh, the expert tip for today is the treatment of pain. Uh, there's so much uh, information and so much talk out there about uh, the uh, epidemic of opioid prescribing in this country. And uh, quite frankly, I can't think of any professionals that I know of that are um, more willing and more able to deal in, with ambulatory care than dentists. Uh, I think they've done a great job over the years. I don't think the uh, issue is with us per se and our prescribing so much as I think it is with other parts of medicine. However, I do believe that opioids aren't necessary for the treatment of dental pain in that I think we can do a better job in treating pain uh, and, and creating significantly superior anesthesia with uh, non-opioids. So with the treatment of uh, dental pain, uh, you look at it as mostly inflammation. So the treatment of dental pain as an inflammatory condition would require an anti-inflammatory. But if we just stopped there, we'd be shorting ourselves of the greatest efficacy of all, which is really the synergy you accomplish by combining non-opioids uh, like ibuprofen and acetaminophen. Uh, and so I usually recommend uh, to my partners that we uh, treat that pain aggressively with a non-opioid somewhere between 600 and 800 milligrams of ibuprofen uh, four times a day and also making sure we in increase or use the Tylenol to our advantage that synergy is something we want to put to our patients and that a thousand milligrams of Tylenol uh, three to four times a day. We're at the upper limit and, and many dentists and, and hygienists have questioned why do we need to use such high doses? Well the answer is Pain is a subjective experience, and the more we can control pain and, and eliminate it as quickly as we can, pain becomes less of an obstacle or a barrier to people seeking dental care in the future. So if we can use those two ingredients together, uh, studies have shown that by combining these doses of ibuprofen and Tylenol together, we've actually uh, created analgesia that exceeds that of an opioid. However, if I were to say, well, that's good, let the patient go with just that, I think you'd probably get a two-word review online that's not very flattering. So I think we're going to write that prescription for Vicodin and Percocet, but we're going to use it as a rescue agent for those patients that are truly in agonizing pain and feel the need to have that warm, fuzzy security blanket with them of having that opioid prescription. We're going to say, yes, use this when all else fails and the pain is beyond what you can tolerate. And then we'll say, we'll prescribe it in quantities of maybe 12 or 20 tablets to give them the idea, again, subjectively, hey, this is in small quantities, so this stuff must be pretty good. And we gain so much from that placebo effect as well.